All right, here we have y equals 3x squared plus 18x minus 29. And let's get started to complete the square. So what I'll do is that I'll factor out the 3. And 3x squared divided by 3 is just x squared. 18x divided by 3 is 6x. And remember that the last term, we just leave it outside. OK, now we take the 6. We divide it by 2, and we square it. So 6 divided by 2, 3. 3 squared is 9. So 9 is the number to add and take away. OK, then of course we need to take the negative 9 outside. But before we take it outside, we multiply it by 3. So that's very important. A lot of people forget when they haven't practiced enough, and that's not a good thing. <laughs> it's very important to remember that whatever number we have in, in front right here, we multiply it by, by that. Just because if we were to um, just expand the 3 in, we would have to distribute, right? So this actually is a negative 27 in disguise, because negative 9 times 3 is negative 27. So here we have a negative 29, and negative 9 times 3, negative 27, that came outside. All right, so over here we have 3 times, now this whole thing factors into, actually let me just fix this, make some nice brackets. They weren't round enough before. So x squared plus 6x plus 9 factors into x plus 3 squared. Then we have just negative 29 minus 27. And of course, that is negative 56. Is that right? <laughs> Hope I didn't get that wrong. And um, OK, so here we go. That's the answer. We have completed the square for this trinomial for this parabola. And uh, at this point, this of course represents a parabola. What would be the vertex of this parabola? The vertex would be negative 3, comma, negative 56. And why is it negative 3? We always look at this signal, and we flip it, and we just take that number. So that's the x value of the vertex. <coughs> And that is the y value of the vertex. That's it.